Here is lesson 38 for saxophone. We will play numbers 85, 86, and 87. All right, you should have already looked through. You should know these notes because you've been practicing your scales. Okay, but in case you haven't, I would pause the video right now and go find the scales videos and practice those as well as the uh, scales on page 42 in your book. Okay. Our E is one, two, three, one, two. Again, this should be a review for you. And then our D is adding that. If you don't know that, like I said, you should be already be going through your scales, so these should not be new notes for you. All right, let's play number 85. Check your dynamics. Look through the piece, make sure you know what you're doing, and you're ready to go. Here we go. One, ready. <laughs> Did you notice? First time I played through it, I took that breath mark. Next time I played through it, I did not. If you can go, if you can play that whole thing in one breath, then you're doing good. Now remember, when I say play it in one breath, I don't mean make it to the end like. No, you gotta make it with good sound. Okay, has to be good sound, has to be steady sound. All right, did you forget that repeat sign? If you did, you need to mark it. Maybe highlight it, maybe circle it. Do something so you know that you have to repeat. Maybe draw an arrow going from that repeat sign back to the beginning so you know where to go. That's what we call drawing a road map. All right, 86. Again, you should be good to go, so let's do it. One, two, all ready. <laughs> Did you get your dynamic changes? If you can get those changes without taking that breath mark, then you're in good shape. All right, before we get to 87, let's talk about our code phrase. Our code phrase is long tones. Hey, are you having trouble keeping notes steady? Are they waving kind of like my, mine are today? Then you should be doing more long tones. Today, this is about, I don't know, the 10th video I've made today. So my lips are getting a little tired. Okay. So, if you ha are having trouble getting notes, keeping notes steady, or getting to certain notes, you need to do more long tones, specifically on the notes you have trouble with. Alright, let's finish up with number 87. Again, these are new notes, or these are notes, these should not be new notes, because you know them, but F sharp is octave key, one, two, three, and two. The sharp is always two. Alright, and then our G, thumb, or, uh, Octave key, one, two, three, there's your G. Same as your low G, just with octave key. All right, here we go, number 87. By the way, before I forget, when you have a, uh, when you're trying to figure out what to use octave key for a note or not, I want you to think this. If the note is, where is it, that D, if it's that D or above the staff, so it's higher, it will always have octave key. There, excuse me, there are no exceptions. If it's lower than that D, it will never have octave key. There are no exceptions. So there's a rule. Find that fourth line D. If, it's, if the note is above that D, it will always have octave key. If it's below, it will never have octave key. All right, here we go. Let's play number 87. One, two, ready. <laughs> different kind of shaking to my pitch that time, wasn't there? Okay, that's called vibrato. That's something we will talk about during class. Okay, that was lesson 38. Thanks for joining me.